Okay, so uh, today I just want to talk a little bit about a piece of software that I found um, I was looking at uh, the chat, um, Discord chat for Meshtastic, and I saw this piece of software, uh, very nice. Um, it's called Mesh Sense, and uh, by Affirma Tech, Affirma Tech, okay, um, looks really cool. Um, and uh, what I basically understand from it at the moment is, you know, it's showing me I'm connected to uh, my uh, little node out there. It's cold at the moment. Uh, you'll see it out there, uh, um, which is a Raspberry Pi node that has a IP address. So I'm connected to that. And um, here's all the, the nodes that it sees. And I think there's a setting if you haven't seen somebody for longer than uh, an hour or whatever you set, you can set that. So you can see, uh, you know, it's called uh, Versoft Linux. Linux had 3B. That's a guy out there. That's what I'm connected to. Um, and, uh, you know, if I do, um, you know, where is it on the map? It will show me. There it is on the map. You know, VLH3. Um, then it also shows the other nodes that I've connected to which is, uh, you know, just uh, the Versoft Computers one, which is a, uh, uh, this guy on my desk over here uh, in the office. Um, and then uh, also it's connected to uh, RKNT, which is, if I just, I can just hit there and it'll go there, which is somewhere, uh, you know, downtown St. Pete. So, um, or not downtown, but know what I'm saying um, it's it's somewhere down there in the bayou so uh, yeah you can zoom in and out of this and it will draw these little lines to the nodes that uh, you've connected to so that's pretty neat I like that I've connected to these nodes uh, um, and I can see that um, if I uh, and but these are the nodes that I see at the moment it's also got this um, you know, um, a, a total log down the bottom here. So, um, you know, if um, I wanted to see what that message was about, I click on it and I can see, you know, this was a uh, telemetry uh, message and it said something at 100, you know, percent battery, you know, that kind of details. So, um, so that's pretty neat. So um, if I were to take something like, um, I want to, uh, uh, go to that node, I want to look at that node, and I want to maybe trace route to it. You'll see down the bottom here, it's going to do a trace route, it's going to come back, and I can see the details about the trace route. I can see that um, I had a 28S uh, signal to noise ratio going there, 24 coming back, you know, that kind of detail, um, you know, what uh, RSSI was, and um, you know, the, the sending signal to noise ratio, all of those kind of things. So all of that details available and it also, you know, updates um, sort of over here, the six and the minus 27. So pretty neat. Uh, um, so, and I can also, um, you know, look at the node detail itself and there's all the details we know about this node, uh, its node number and its user ID. Um, and then, um, you know, if it's powered, how much voltage it has. Like this node, which is Versoft Seed Home, which is one of my home nodes, it has, a, a, you know, telemetry inside, temperature telemetry. So we can see it's 20 degrees and it's 51% degree, uh, percent humidity and it's 55 air quality. So I also down here want to filter out to a specific node, I could say, Let's take this node, VSH, so I can just say VSH and it should filter everything down to that or R6 if I wanted to filter only R6 stuff, there's um, everything I have about R6 so I could filter things out, um, which, is, which is very interesting. So um, you can see the log move, you can see that, you can see the detail. It's also got interact, uh, you know, the inactive nodes. Here's all the other nodes that we've seen, that uh, 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 we've seen around, and that we've connected to in the past, uh, that I might not uh, be connected to right at the moment. 
but they're around. So those are the inactive nodes. And then um, uh, um, one other feature that I, uh, you know, I can see that uh, it has some news and updates. It has settings where you can do some settings. And then it has a global map, um, which I'll show you in a second here. Let me hit the global map. Okay, that then opens up this uh, global map, um, MeshSense global map. We can see there seems to be people from everywhere using it. If we go specifically to our area, we can see there is my little LH3 with a connection to there. There seems to be other people in this area that's also using it. So very nice. Um, I really like it. Um, I think it's an interesting piece of software, especially with this global map. If, you know, the problem's long been everybody has to use or try to use the same map. If we look at the official one from MeshTastic, um, it looks like this, Mesh Map. But, um, you know, I, I think it only reports if you connect it to um, uh, MQ, uh, M, uh, uh, you know, so um, MQTT. Um, so then it reports on here, but um, I like this this other map. Um, uh, um, you know, um, I didn't have to set up MQTT, and I could connect to it, so I, I can see that. Let me uh, try and start up a, a little node over here. So uh, I've got this little guy over here, which is just a home node. So uh, let's watch the the display over here. I'm gonna kill that guy. Um, the the um, that node, and I'm going to start this one up, and uh, let's see if I can get that going. Um, we will see that um, it starts up. Let's have a look at the at the logs over here. We cannot see it yet. We don't see anything in here yet. Um, let's see if it wants to join the network. This guy is now uh, fully started up. And uh, let's see if it becomes one of the active nodes over here. There it goes, boom. It's now active, that's Viv Homebase 2. We can see that uh, here's the detail again about that node, that's a message we receive. This is a Haltech Vision T190 in here. We can see uh, details about it, its address and things like that. We can get more detail about it over here. You know, what it is, what its name is, you know, its location, its uh, battery level, that kind of thing. Its node and user ID, all of that detail. I can go ahead and try and do a trace route to it. We can see that the trace route worked. Um, I got the 30 and the 23. Um, and it updates the details over here, minus 36 and so forth. So, yeah, uh, in conclusion, I, I think this is a great uh, a little uh, a program. Um, you can download it. I'll put some links um, to this um, in, on, on the site. Um, and uh, you can try and, uh, um, you know, here's more detail. Mesh Sense version 1.0.18 uh, by Affirmatech. I'll put links in the thing. That this is a great example of somebody or some group or, or people, you know, furthering Mesh-tastic and uh, providing interesting software. I know the software runs on Linux and it runs on, uh, you know, Mac, which I'm running it on. It runs on Windows. So there's all sorts of downloads there. So go check it out. So uh, thank you, and uh, we'll speak soon again.